I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Leo. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person, Leo. Now, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign, Leo, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like, Leo. But when it comes to any of my readings, Leo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you, Leo, be sure to let me know in the comments below of what card calls out to you the most because that's how we keep up with y'all is through the comments leo and then also be sure to uh give this video a like and subscribe if this reading does resonate with you leo because it does help out my channel a lot and i always am super appreciative of when you guys take the time to do that for me um and then finally leo this reading's here just to give some perspective i'm not here to make a choice in your life it's your life to live not mine so with all that being said, uh, let's get start getting into your general energies this week. I pulled three cards for you, one oracle card and then two tarot cards. Leo, we have for your moon card, the third quarter moon adjustments are required. So this is a card that kind of needs um, additives to refine this message, especially when it's as the general messages. So let's look into your tarot cards as well. You have the Six of Wands coming in, a beautiful card, with the Seven of Wands as well, though. So there is a conflicting energy going on here, and that's what needs to be adjusted. Don't mind me, <laughs> Leo. I'm going to be adjusting real quick for a moment. <laughs> I do see um, conflicting energies of where it's just like... It's weird because it's like with the Six of Wands, Leo, this is talking about victory and success, right? So in that case, it's just like what adjustments are needing to be required if, you know, if things are working out. And then we have the Seven of Wands where it's just like, it's kind of like the you against the world energy. But something I want to point out because it's for the Necronomicon deck, Tarot kind of have, has its own message, especially in the artwork of things, Leo. So while normally with the Six of Wands, it is that victory card. But something I want you to take notice of is where you, in this deck, uh, this person, this individual is kind of breaking free from the group. We'll just call it as like this group of people like bullying <laughs> individuals like this. And someone breaking free from it, um, realizing almost in the sense of where it's like something just wasn't for them and kind of like feeling like the uh everyone's like resentful of them almost right so it is kind of following suit with that seven of wands energy where it's just like um it's almost as if like through you taking action on something leo that kind of makes people like turn on you right it gives me i don't know it just is like this weird like sense of people turning on you leo or just like a random shift in emotions that are happening uh people that you thought were there for you just aren't and actually turned on you perhaps but let's start pulling a, i'm gonna pull a card leo on your side of things on their side of things leo and then a card for the energy between y'all two and we'll just see what's up okay let's see two more cards so we have on your side of things, Leo, the Nine of Pentacles. So with this card, this is someone that's really, um, you're not insecure with yourself, Leo, that's for sure. You're at peace with what it is on, or at least on your side of things. You're at peace with the actions that you've taken, with the words that you've spoken. Um, you're not really having that many regrets on it because um perhaps you feel justified perhaps you're in this place of where it's just like well i know my intentions were there so um you can't translate it any other way right um regardless i just see you content with yourself so that's good regardless of what else is going on i see you at peace with your actions with your words so celebrate you for that leo 
on their side of things, they have the hanged man. So someone is kind of seeing things from a different perspective that they weren't consider before. If we're going to use that analogy from the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands from the Necronomicon deck, Leo, um, perhaps it's through you um, just taking the actions that you know probably isn't the most popular, but it brings you the happiness. It gives you a sense of peace from it. This person's kind of like watching from the afar and being like, oh, you know, right? Even in this imagery, you see a person like watching from afar and being like, oh, you know, maybe they're onto something. Maybe um, their intentions aren't all that bad, right? Looking, you look at this individual right here, and it's just popping out in the corner, Leo. So it's interesting. Um, I like that though, just because it's like, if they're able to like, even if they didn't initially see it from your perspective, Leo, they're in this place of self-awareness enough of not just being choosing to be stuck in their own perspective right they're willing to like look they're willing to self-reflect they're willing to observe and that's just i mean that in of itself is a priceless thing to have when it comes to a connection is someone that is willing to call themselves out so leo the energy between y'all two is the three of pentacles so with this three of pentacles this i mean you look at the card contracts this is a card of someone being putting someone else on a pedestal dare i say just from the analogy i used before leo they're probably putting you on a pedestal they have a lot of respect for you leo which is, again isn't a bad thing and that's why they are slowly seeing things from your point of view slowly seeing things from your side of things and seemingly agreeing with you and wanting to uh partner up with you wanting to pursue you right wanting to just have something with you right so it's interesting let's start pulling some clarifiers now leo we're gonna start with pulling cards on your side of things leo see what's up with you and that nine of pentacles and the cards are already flying out the first card is the Seven of Wands. So even though you're at peace with your decisions, Leo, there's still maybe from outside actions, maybe just this other person, there is something that you're, that is a little bit chaotic going on mentally for you, Leo. Maybe you're trying to understand the other person. Maybe you're trying to understand the situation, how, to even, how the situation even got to where it is, right? With this nine of cups as well interesting that you have the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles and the ten of earth right wow <laughs> leo you're on your side of things you're really thriving but then the seven of swords is still putting me for a loop here the seven of swords is just like i don't know right because let me explain we'll put a pin on this card leo and we'll get back to it with some clarifiers on that alone because with the nine of cups it's similar to the nine of pentacles in the sense that like nine of pentacles stable energy um you know you're comfortable and relying on yourself it's very self-reliant energy you're com completely comfortable being alone and this nine of cups as well your emotional needs are met like you're just completely content with where you are at and it makes sense as to why this person would probably be putting you on a pedestal and admiring you leo just because they just see how um confident and in tune with yourself that you are realizing that you don't need a, uh, a person because you have this ten of pentacles right you are really in this place of um not being so disinterested and welcoming in an energy that's not going to feed the energy that you already have uh, can be conducive to the energy and where it is that you're already going right uh leo dare i say you're just in this place of you're not patient towards other people's paths but again not a bad thing though it's one of those things where it's just like you can see someone for where they were at in their life where it is that they need to work on and if you already went through that leo you're in this place where it's just like you know what been there done that don't want to deal with that anymore and I guess that's making more sense now with that Seven of Swords and why it's here, because it is probably um, 
in this place of figuring out being like, oh, like I see where it is that they, um, where they're coming from, right? You want to probably help them, right? Nave of Disc comes through where you want to reach out to them and be like, hey, this is what I know. This is how I process things. But then it's also probably the sense of Leo where it's just like, you feel like you shouldn't have to, and you shouldn't, right? It's not your responsibility to live someone else's life and to teach them if they're, especially if they're not asking for it. And especially when you have your own life to focus on, right? Back of the deck energy is the Empress card coming in for you, Leo. This is, makes, this is, I mean, all your cards that we have, that Nine of Cups, that Nine of uh, Pentacles, that Ten of Pentacles, that's like the Empress card embodiment, right? You're really in tune with yourself. You really are comfortable with yourself. You're in this beautiful place of growth. You are so beautiful at this time, Leo. And it's just like very admirable, very admirable. And this is probably why you have this a secret admirer over here <laughs> um really just like looking at you ogle-eyed because they're just like wow this person has it going on so leo we're going to start pulling some clarifiers on their side of things now with that hanged man figure out why that hanged man is there in the first place for them what are their feelings what's going on with them <clears throat> let's see we have the Knight of Pentacles coming out here for them. So it's almost like they get a change of perspective and they start dabbling, right? As I was saying before, they start dabbling. They see how you're handling things. They see what you're doing. And they're just like, I, I kind of want to see how that works for me. I kind of want to, this kind of like, I never considered this before, but I kind of want to uh, do something with this, right? And it's how, um, it makes sense to have that three of pentacles as the energy between y'all two because i do see this person really trying to um get in your good um good favors is that the word for it leo trying to get in your good uh graces right trying to show that they care about the same things that you care about that they are passionate about the same things that you're passionate about just as motivated as you are nine of swords though they really <laughs> dare i say leo they probably just feel extremely insignificant in comparison to you they probably are in their in their head because again they put you on this pedestal they see you as this great person which you are leo uh and it's just like probably a little bit of um not imposter syndrome but it's through you living your greatest life it's almost like you're holding a mirror and reflecting to them like where they're lacking where it is that they should be improving on and what you know all those things where it's just like you are just like the literal representation of what it is that they want to be perhaps and this eight of swords comes out and this is what's trapping them that nine of swords comes in with this eight of swords i they have to overcome this first leo before they get into that knight of pentacles energy right um or I feel like this probably is what's stopping them from pursuing you or saying something to you because of just like their own. They just feel like you're out of their league, essentially, Leo, to kind of summarize it. They feel like you're out of their league. And so it's one of those things where it's just like, they really want you and they really want to connect with you. They want to work with you in some type of way. Um, Knight of Swords, <laughs> back of the deck energy, yeah. They're just back and forth in their head constantly being like, oh, is this the day that I pursue Leo or isn't it? it is, you know, it's constant. They have conflicting thoughts when it comes to this, but it has nothing to do with you, Leo, and just all to do with like the perspective that they have of themselves, right? So it's interesting, right? And it's one of those things, you know, especially what we were talking about with your side of things, Leo. I don't see you in this place of um, being, I don't want to say patient, but it's just like, you know, if they don't want to take action, you're not going to convince them. You shouldn't, you feel like you shouldn't have to beg them to or push them to, because it's like, if you want this, then you can come towards it, right? The, we're pulled clarifiers already for your three of pentacles. The cards flew out. We have four cards for you. Oh, we have the moon card, the tower card, the six of swords, and the four of pentacles. Mm. So, we're going to separate these messages a little bit, Leo. We have the Tower card coming in with, I feel like these three code together, Leo. The Tower card comes in 
with the moon card of where it's like, I feel like the moon card comes in first of where it's just like things going on in the background and at some moment, a tower moment happens with this connection, right? Tower moment happens and I feel like it might be caused by the six of swords of where it's just like, you're continuing making ground you, and it's like each day that goes by, Leo, you become more and more indifferent towards this connection you become because it's just like again you have so much good going on in your life you have so much going on um you're just trying to progress that it's just like each day that you progress in your life you become detached from this old situation right you start holding back your pentacle energy because it's just like you don't want to make the wrong investments and you're at this point you're not seeing this connection being a worthy investment whatsoever right so it's just like how that tower card correlates though i see this as where it's just like that's what's going to potentially get them out of that nine of swords eight of swords energy leo i mean it probably is not going to get them out of that energy the nine of swords energy right they still may feel lacking in some sense of the reward but i feel like it probably will break them out of this eight of swords energy realizing that they have to at some point exude that night of pentacles energy, make a choice and take forward movement if they want this connection. I feel like they kind of need that ultimatum. Um, and then you have the sun card as the back of the deck energy, interestingly enough, right? So, Leo, I do see, I kind of do see this working out in the long run. It seems a little bit rough right now because it probably is. Um, it is just the situation where you're not probably having patience with them because it's just like, you know, if you want something, then go after it, right? You, the fact that they are just in this place of waiting, in this place of really not kind of just being in this stalemate, right? I don't see them doing any type of forward progression, even in their own life, right? With that Nine of Swords and Eight of Swords, that's a lot of stale energy on their side leo and i feel like you're just receptive of that and you're just like you know what or you're aware of it rather not receptive and you're just like you know what like you figure yourself out and if you come like at a later point we can reconvene right justice card bring things back into balance right i feel like you're trying to like being at like you're gonna do me you're gonna do you let them do them and if they manage to keep up with you or catch back up with you, that's when you can, that's when y'all can reconvene. That's when y'all will have like that sun happy moment um, together. Because I do see this working out. They're probably just a little bit slow. They definitely have to do a lot of learning, a lot of perspective shifts in their life. But dare I say they probably just weren't in a good environment, right? I'm going to reference the seven of wands, or not the seven of wands, the six of wands again. Right? You gotta consider the crew that they were around and like the echo chamber that they probably lived in where it's just like bad toxic behaviors just were not kept in check or even probably celebrated on some level from them. So they kind of have to break free, free of those those old ways and adopt new ones. And it's a progress, right? You think about it from your side of things, like it's a progression thing. It doesn't just happen overnight. But uh, Leo, that's the cards that I have for you. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Be sure to comment below that you enjoyed this reading. And then also share my videos with a friend, Leo, if you think you know someone that might be into my messages. Until next time, Leo, I love you so much.